everyone, my name is Miss Jackie, and today we'll be reading Is That Wise Pig? It's by one of my favorite authors, Jan Thomas, and she drew all the pictures too. Is that wise, pig? Let's see. Who wants to help me make soup? I do. Here is one onion. Here are two cabbages. And here are three umbrellas. Ooh, umbrellas? The soup? Is that wise, pig? Oh, I guess not. Now here are one, two, three, four tomatoes. Here are one, two, three, four, five potatoes. And here are six galoshes. Six galoshes in the soup? Say it with me. Is that wise, pig? Oh, I guess not. Now here are seven green beans. Here are eight Brussels sprouts. And here are nine carrots. Yes, pretty wise, huh? And I asked 10 hungry friends to join us. Say it with me. Was that wise, pig? Uh-oh, better use these. They're about to make a mess. The umbrellas and galoshes were pretty wise, pig. Thanks, cow. There's just one thing missing. Really? What's that, pig? Me! Pizza? Pizza. And that's, is that wise, pig? Can you show me your five little piggies? And if you want to use your toes, you can do that too. We're going to do, this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy, get ready for a tickle, went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Today we're going to read one of the silliest books ever. It's called Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. Are you ready? Okay, good. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. So he threw up the other shoe to knock down his favorite one, and unbelievably, that got stuck too. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Oh, good, cats know how to climb trees, perfect. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Oh no, the cat got stuck too? Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a 
duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink, the family car to knock down the front door, the milkman to knock down the family car, and a orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat, a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, a house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. Oh boy, a lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. Can we help at all? And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea and went to find a saw. What do you think he's gonna do? He lined it up as best he could and hurled it up into the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of the day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he'd forgotten. This one says, hang on, I've got a great idea. How do you think they're all gonna get out of there? I don't know, that's stuck. Today, we're going to read a very silly book it's called Duck on a Bike, and it's by David Shannon. One day, down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I can ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Ooh, said Cow, but what she thought was, a duck on a bike. That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep said duck. Bah, said sheep. But what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. <gasps> Who's that? Duck was riding better now. He rode past dog. Hello, dog, said duck. Woof, said dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. What do you think Cat said? Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, duck. 
Duck rang his bell as he rode towards Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. Cluck, cluck, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. Ma, said Goat. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Would you like to eat that bike? No. Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Hello, pigs, said Duck. Oink, said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Oh boy, what do you think is gonna happen? Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Then they put the bikes back by the house and no one knew that on that afternoon, there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. Can you show me three little ducks? Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks swam out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck yelled quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck yelled quack, quack, quack. And then all three of her ducks came back. Good job, everybody. I'll be reading one of my favorite books. It's called A Kitten Tale, and it is written and drawn by Eric Roman. This book is perfect for a snowy day. Let's see. A Kitten Tale. Once there were four kittens who had never seen snow. Have you ever seen snow? Snow is my favorite. Snow scares me, said the first kitten. When winter comes, the snow will fall and fall and will be cold. Freezing cold, said the second kitten. Cold to the tips of our tails, said the third kitten. But the fourth kitten said, I can't wait. When spring rains gave way to long summer days, the first kitten said, today is sunny and warm, but someday snow will fall and fall and will be cold and wet. Soaking wet, said the second kitten. Wet down to our bones, said the third kitten. But the fourth kitten said, I can't wait. When autumn winds ruffled the trees, the first kitten said, soon the snow will fall and fall, will be cold and wet and snow will cover everything. Piles and drifts, said the second kitten. Heaped to our whiskers, said the third kitten. Still, the fourth kitten said, I can't wait. Then one winter morning, the kittens 
woke to snow. Do you see them? They're hiding. But the fourth kitten didn't hide. She jumped and rolled and laughed. Snow, it's cold and wet and it covers everything. We'll be right out. I can't wait. And that's a kitten tale. And I can't wait to see you at the library soon. Thanks for reading a story with me. Bye.